Now, two years after the remains of King Richard III were found in a car park, the authorities have announced the details of when he will be reburied. Samina has all the details for us. Sam. I do, Matt. Thank you very much. Now, you remember there was worldwide interest in the discovery of the bones of the last English king to die in battle. They were found beneath a car park in Leicester in August 2012, in what was once Greyfriars Church. It also appeared to be a hurried burial after Richard III was killed at the Battle of Bosworth more than 500 years ago. However, the excitement of the discovery was quickly replaced by a legal row over where the last of the Plantagenets should be buried. In May, the courts eventually decided he should be reinterred at Leicester Cathedral, and today the church authorities reveal the exact details of the burial. And here they are. It will take place on March the 26th. His remains will be transferred to a lead-lined coffin at Leicester University on March the 22nd, and will travel by hearse to Bosworth for a service and a day of events. The procession will then travel through villages that were significant to the monarch's final days as it makes its way back to Leicester Cathedral. Richard will then lie in repose for three days, allowing the public to pay their respects. And officials say the ceremony will not be classed as an official state funeral, but it will be very similar and have the character of one. He's already been commended to God uh, in 1485, but not quite in the way we would expect a monarch to be commended to God. So this is an opportunity to re-enter his remains and to do it with the honour and dignity that he probably didn't quite have in 1485. Well, it's estimated the cost of this funeral will be around two and a half million pounds. It will also be broadcast live, so there's exciting and historic times ahead, and of course lots to look forward to for Leicester. Matt. Yes, indeed, Sam. Thank you.